The annual World Economic Forum Summit started this week in Davos. Every year, prominent business delegates and government officials gather in the Alps. They meet under the banner of forging ties that can help solve global problems and crises. They aim to set the priorities for the year ahead. But how successful are they? Because this glitzy exercise at Davos has gone a little out of touch. More and more people are now asking this question. Just how relevant is the WEF summit? Let's first see what exactly happens at Davos. The summit brings together whom are investors, business leaders, political leaders, economists, celebrities, journalists. In the past, Davos has been used as a location for pivotal international diplomacy. From what it said, leaders are able to break tensions in the town, delegates attend panels, speeches are made inside the Congress Center, but much of the action occurs outside. The heads of state and corporate hotshots conduct bilateral meetings on the main promenade of Davos. Shop fronts and restaurants are taken over by companies and countries, and they become venues for parties and discussion panels. The relatable factor of the summit has been fading for a few years now. But this time, it seems more divorced from the reality than ever before. A war in Europe is deepening the divide in the world economy. It is the WEF's first winter meeting in Davos since 2020. And economic heavyweights are playing by different rules now. A lot has changed. They are facing rising geopolitical risks. Companies are moving supply chains closer to home. Strategic stockpiling has picked up pace. And corporate executives who once preached free trade are appearing increasingly wary. Amid all this, the Davos summit seems like just another fancy talk shop. The WEF has its own arguments. It says the conference allows decision makers to zoom out and join hands. Now you might disagree with me, but it sounds like, and you, uh, sounds like a euphemism for partying, or at least like a forefront to give an impression that compounding global crises are being addressed. Just look at what the world leaders are battling right now. The after effects of the Wuhan virus pandemic, the soaring cost of living, climate change, food insecurity, and may I remind you, the war in Ukraine. The Davos mission has been facing heavy damage for the last 12 months. Since Russia's invasion of Ukraine, more than 1,000 Western companies have curtailed operations in Russia. Russia was Europe's top energy supplier, but most of the European countries had to cut ties with it, and they paid a hefty price for this. The WEF itself had to freeze relations with Russia after hosting its politicians and officials for years now. Tensions between the world's two superpowers, the US and China, now loom even larger, especially as Beijing ramps up the military exercises aimed at Taiwan. China's zero-COVID policy has also scared away companies and investors. Many still remain wary even after restrictions were rolled back rapidly. During the last two years, the richest 1% scooped up nearly twice as much new wealth as the rest of the world. The economic pendulum has shifted too far this time and it has become a little difficult to understand the relevance of this summit. International cooperation is essential to solve food shortages and to keep the climate goals within reach. But let's not forget that the officials fly in their carbon-spewing private jets to attend these summits. They have already been accused of ecological hypocrisy by the Greenpeace. The forum has attracted some big names this year, but the absentees have become more notable. U.S. President Joe Biden, China's Xi Jinping, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi, the French President Emmanuel Macron, None of these leaders have attended the summit. And does this highlight the declining importance of this summit? The Swiss ski hub has its own appeal. I mean, skyrocketing demand for the services in the region is a telling sign. Davos has become a venue for fancy parties. But what seems to be at risk here is Davos's reputation. 
The summit, which was once perceived as an important event, is now being collectively overlooked. Would it be fair to say that the sun is finally setting on the Davos summit? Think about it. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.